What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. My name is KJ and today guys we're going to be ranking every single Treyarch Zombies map from World at War to Black Ops 4. And I do know that Black Ops Cold War is not on here. And it's not that I don't think that they are Treyarch maps, because obviously they were made by Treyarch, but I don't, I don't associate them the same way as I do these games because uh, there's so much difference between even Black Ops 4 and Cold War versus Black Ops 3 and Black Ops 4 that I could add them I could go look for a different one but I think it's safe to say just doing these by themselves is good enough uh, so we're just gonna go left to right we're not gonna go in any specific order we're not gonna go find not go through each one. We're just gonna... You know what? No. We're gonna go. We're gonna go through each one. Um, so starting off with Nocturne Tone. Nocturne Tone is... It, it is the foundation for zombies. It was the first map. I will give it that. Is it good though? I, I can't play Noct more than one time. In a single. If I play it one time, unless it's for some form of payment, you know, money, or if there's some bet on it, I'll play it. But if I don't have to play Noct, I won't play it. So for that reason, it's going to go and see. It's not a map I'll never play, but it's a map I don't play on a regular basis, to be honest. Can we add a row? I'm gonna add a row for any map I haven't played. Haven't. Haven't. Played. And are we good to go? Okay, next one we have is Verrut. I am a massive fan of Verrut. I know it gets so much hate. I think for a lot of people, this is probably in their bottom five. I am a Verrut lover. I, I love it. I'll, I'll, I'll let you know I'm the first person that if they said Verrut is one of the best maps of all time, I'll say it. I Is it S? No. Is it A? It's very arguable. But I think it's top B. B plus or A minus. So for now, we're going to put it in B. Um, well, maybe we'll put it in A, depending on what else I put in A and what else I put in B. Uh, so next up is Shinonuma. I... I'd rather play not than Shinonuma. Would I? Yeah, I think that's a safe place. I do I do understand the concept that is the map for high rounds. If you wanna just be able to say you've gotten to round a hundred, play this or play Revelations, maybe even Kino Dritone or Ascension, and you can get round a hundred with just a few days of practice. I personally I haven't played Shinonuma enough to get to round 100, but I know if I sat down and just focused on only wanting to do that, I could and probably much longer. I have my Xbox over here uh, next to my PS4 that if I wanted to, I could go play Shinonuma and try for it. Um, I don't know if it's different on console versus PC on it, how it bugs out and stuff like that, but there's that. Next up, we got Doris, a fan favorite. I'm going to be honest, guys. I'm going to keep it 100% real. I don't like normal Doris. I love the concept. I love the idea. But I'd rather play the giant remake over Doris. Doris came out... Only I I was probably six years old 
seven years old when it came out. Yeah, seven when it came out. So I played a little bit of it, but I didn't like it as much as I liked it for Tim Dodd. Because I like this I like the fact that I was able to play scary maps back then. Nowadays though, I think I'd rather play Durys more than not Genshin Minimus, so I think I'll put it right. I think I'll have it tied with Corrupt. I know a lot of people put that or A or S. I I can't. I'm sorry. That's just not me. Um, I've never really cared a whole lot. Not to say it's bad. It's just not my favorite. Keener Tone, same way. It's what probably the most iconic map other than maybe not in Transit. Um. I would rather play Kino over Noct, but I wouldn't want to play it over Durys. Uh, there's not a lot to say because everybody knows what Kino Durcho is. Uh, Thunder Gun on the stage. That's it. Uh, next, we got five. I am the biggest five fan. Five and Verot are hard maps. But, but just even the atmosphere of the two maps and the, like, the thought that went behind these maps in terms of where they're located and just stuff in the map, just, dude, it's so nice. I love Five. I, I love Bonfire Cell. Pentagon Thief is such a unique boss. And, you know, having something like that... And then the Winner's how I know it gets a lot of hate, but I love the Wonder Weapon. It's just the disabled version of the Ice Staff. <laughs> so, yeah. Next up, we got Ascension. Now, Ascension... I think it's tied with Duris. It's something I'll play a lot, but it's not a favorite of mine. Which is kind of with me and Duris. I'll play it, but it's not a favorite. There's not a lot to say because in, you really just get Mustang Sally's or Ray Gun, PhD, Thunder Gun, and Jug, and you train up by PhD slash Widow's one, depending on what uh, game you're playing. Um, so yeah, that's really about it. Next up, we got Shangri La. No, where is it called? Yeah, I think it's called Call of the Dead. Yeah, it's Shangri La. Yeah. Uh, so Call of the Dead. First zombies map to introduce Celebrity Cast. Now, I have played Call of the Dead. I haven't played it a lot, but I will play it more than these maps. And, but I don't think I'd play it for five. Um, actually, we're gonna go ahead and put this down here. Um, yeah, I don't think Call of the <sighs> We'll put Call of the Dead eight here. That's fine. I love the Wonder Weapon Scavenger and the VR11 are so unique. Having George there is such an iconic thing. Playing as Danny Trejo or Michael Rooker, I mean, Sarah Michelle Miller, I mean, they're just, all of it just comes together in terms of the cast and the one words. I mean, it's just, I do not, I don't like how white and gray it is, though. I wish there was more color. I know it takes place in Siberia, you know, we talked about it, but I just can't get over the fact that even though it's based there, how white and just snowy it is, and just how gray it is. I don't like that um, about it. Um, which we'll get more to uh, in, into here. Uh, next one, we got Shangri La. I don't care for Shangri La that much, but I'd rather play that over Noct and Shino. I'd rather play all those other maps over Shangri La. 
So I'm actually going to put it in C because I don't go out of my way to play it like the maps above. Um, Baby Gun's a great gun. I love the fact that you can get a free perk um, or a max ammo or any power-up you want from the monkeys. Um, it's just too close quarters and I wish there were some more open areas to train in and some of just instead of just a big circle some more routes maybe um you add some stuff like that i don't think it's a bad map i just don't like the fact that it's close quarters and there's not really a whole lot of training even though you have a baby gun at that one big long path that's just not enough for me to want to play it a whole lot playing it with gobble gums and friends on bo3 is pretty fun though so i'll give it that next up we got moon i I'm not the biggest fan of Moon, but I do like it. Um, for that reason, I'm going to put it between Call of the Dead and 5. Because I'd rather play 5 than Moon, but I'd rather play Moon when you Call of the Dead. So, yeah. Uh, not a whole lot to say about Moon in terms of, of, of what I like. The wave guns are pretty cool. Uh, Crazy Easter egg and Easter egg ending. Um, I think that's kind of what it's known for, is, you know, just that big Easter egg ending and stuff like that. Um, and then starting off in a whole other map. Next up, we kind of just go in a row now after this, actually. So here we go. Next, we got Transit. Play transit more than all of these except for maybe Keynote 5. I have resolved issues with transit. I rather play transit than a lot of these maps. <laughs> yeah, I think that's a good spot. Next up, I'm not even gonna go on. Next up, Newtown. I think it's an amazing map. I have no problem with it. Die Rise, because I'm, I'm moving on, because this is the map I want to talk about. I would rather play any other map than Die Rise. I, I know I'm sounding like a broken record like every other Call of Duty Zombies YouTuber, but I hate Dyrus. I can't get into any part of the map. Not in terms of I don't have the skill for it, in terms of I don't like any part of it. There's nothing about the map that's cool other than the Sifflet Fire. And if there's nothing else in the map other than the Wonder Weapon that gets me interested in it, I'm not going to play it. And that's that. I, I like five, not just because of the winner's house, but because of the atmosphere, the boss, the power, the cast, that just the atmosphere in general, like all of it's so good. That's why I like five. Um, Kino de Tone, uh, just iconic masterpiece. I mean, in terms of the amount of times I've played it, probably the most played map I've probably ever played. Maybe Town, but that's not on here. But probably Kino is probably the map I've played the most out of all of these. Maybe Origins um, and Shadows of Evil. Maybe D. But between those. But yeah, Darius, I just can't get into it. I know it's going to sound like a broken record if I keep talking about it. So, no. Mob of the Dead. I don't think. It's S tier for me, but I do believe it's top of the day. I like Mama the Dead, but it's not as replayable as I don't like it. Like the story, I like the atmosphere, I like the idea behind it, but it's not replayable enough where I want to wake up and play it every day like some of the maps that will be in S tier. Uh, so for that reason, it's going to be A, but it's top A up. So. Next up, Barry. I do this. 
Buried is my favorite at the moment out of all these maps. I would rather play Buried over all of these maps any day of the week. You give me Buried, yes, this is the most casual map in terms of if you just want to have fun with your friends, but even for the hardcore people like me who love some of the more complex maps, I love Buried. Buried so much fun. There's so much to do. I feel like I'm always also doing something in Buried when I'm able to find something new about there. Or, you know, all the little tricks that we were doing. So all the chat drums, you know. There's so many ways you can also play Buried um, in terms of how you want to play. You can do so many different challenges on Buried. It's, it's really fun. Which is the same as our next map. Which is my first S map. If I had an S plus tier, this would be my S plus tier map alongside one other map. So, um, how, where do I begin with Origins? If you know me at all, if you've been around, you've probably seen me play Origins a few times. You've probably heard me talk about Origins as it's always been my favorite map and probably honestly always will be because after BO3 I don't really see anything coming close to putting out maps that are as good as BO2 or BO3 that want to make me wake up every morning and do nothing but play these maps and there, I, if I, I can make a whole separate video on these S tier maps and I might, I might do a S tier map and the reasons they're behind S tier and do a big line versus maybe some like the C tier maps. What, what happened to that? I didn't F tier that one. There's that. Just to clear everything up a little more. Okay. That's probably good. Okay. But like I said, if I... If I go on the rant with Origins and how much I love it, we would be here for an hour. Uh, so let's just keep going. Next up is Shadows of Evil. Shadows of Evil will be my second S tier map, and this would be the only other map that if there was an S plus tier, I would put it up. Shadows of Evil is literally in my idea the most perfected atmosphere map we've ever had it is my mob of the dead five verrucked king in terms of the atmosphere and how it plays out and then what it looks like i mean it's just so aesthetically pleasing to the eye that i just i i fell in love with it and it was, I would play this map day in and day out when I first got Black Ops 3 and I didn't have any big DLCs yet. Um, Shadows of Evil is the map for me in terms of this. Uh, if I want a great atmospheric map, if I want a good challenge map, Origins is my map. It really doesn't matter. On the day, I will play both of these maps anytime you want to. Um, okay. So with that being said, let's keep on going with the giant. This is my, I like this more than Duris. Um, I'd rather play this more than Moon, but I wouldn't want to play it more than Nuketown 5, Mob of the Dead with the Fairy. Um, there's not a lot about to say uh, about the giant, because the same thing as Duris, just read scan and a little bit nicer for me. Uh, next up, we got DE. 
which is my third and probably my final S tier map. It is kind of almost Origins and Shadows mixed together for me in terms of there's good challenges and it's aesthetically pleasing for me anyways. Um, and it's got one of the, it's got really the first real boss fight I could say in terms of Call of Duty um, and a crazy story line and ending comparable to Moon. Um, so for that reason, it's going to be my third and final S. Uh, tier map. Next up, Zetsubo no Shima. I'm going to tell you right now, a lot of the Black Ops 3 maps are going to be up top. So, Zetsubo no Shima is probably going to be top of B. Yeah. Not a lot to say about Zetsubo no Shima, just because it's a meme of the map, just because of the glitches and crashes it had at the beginning. Other than that, there's not a lot to say um, other than it's just Shrek Swamp. Uh, next up, Garad Krovi. Garad Krovi is going to be up there, but it's not a map I play a lot. Yeah, I think that I think that's kind of where that belongs. I'd rather play Garad Krovi than all these maps, but it's not going to crack my top five. Um, I don't know if any of the other maps are going to crack my top five to Next up, Revelations. I like Revelations quite a bit. I do understand the fact that people... Everybody always wanted this. But then when it came out, it is not what people you know, really want. Um, I will play this more than Ascension, but not one. Uh, I do like the map though, there's nothing really that I hate about it, so, it's just, it, the, Revelations is the mid-tier map for me, it is the map that's going to be mid-tier here in a second, and I'll tell you why, um, which goes in with this next kind of two maps, is I didn't play Chaos maps more than probably like 10 times each, I just didn't get into them, just because, um, at this point, after BO3, is kind of once Chronicles came out and, you know, the ending of Rev, I got super heavy into storyline. I, for day in and day out, just learning the zombie storyline. And I got really good at it for the most part on memorizing stuff and, uh, you know, learning about it. Um, that I was so invested that when the Ether came out in BO4, I only wanted to play the Ether maps. I didn't really want to play Chaos. Maybe I should go back and give those maps a try because there's one of them, nine, which is 9, that I'll rank a little higher because I have played and I do uh, get the fact that people probably say that's probably the best um, out of all the BO4 maps. Um, so that'll probably be up there. Uh, but Voyage of the Dis of Despair, I've played it, but I'm putting it in Hammett Play because I haven't played enough of it to know if I like it. I know a lot of people will probably put it at F, or really, really low C, but I have not played Voyage of Despair enough to rank it yet, so yeah, there's that. Uh, 9, so 9 is something that's going to be, probably going to be I'm gonna put it like here because I've played nine enough to where I like it, but it's not as good to me as a lot of people. As a lot of people would rank it, you know, S tier, maybe A tier. It's not there for me yet. I haven't played it enough to put it up there, but I've played it enough to know that I do like it and I don't mind playing it more than some of these maps. Uh, next up, Blood of the Dead. This is another map that I haven't played enough of to be able to I would rather play Blood of the Dead though. So I'm gonna put it F. This is F plus Blood of the Dead. I've played it enough to where I think I can rank it there, but I can't rank it in um, I do love the story blood. If this was a storyline based, Blood of the Dead would Probably A tier, most likely. Um, 
other than that, I can't do it. Classified. I am tying classified with five because uh, I'll put it above five because I love classified. I I think they almost perfected five um, on how the map plays and the size of the map and different things in the map. I do just wish that they would have brought back the bonfire set in terms of also with the pin. They didn't bring him back. They did add it as an elixir, but I want a, I want to get it as a reward. I don't want to just pop it. That's kind of my issue with classified. But I do think it perfected enough to where it's above five. Uh, for those Next up, Dead of the Night. I've played Dead of the Night twice, but it is above. Mm -hmm. now, I wouldn't say it's above. I just haven't played it. I've probably played this map as much as I've played Voyage, and I haven't played it enough to even put it in F, like what? Uh, so yeah, Ancient Evil. I had not even loaded it. But I know for a lot of people, that is a A tier map. And for some, probably an S tier. I have not played Ancient Evil. I've not even loaded it up. So for that reason, I can't even give my opinion on it. Next up is Alpha Omega. Now, Alpha Omega, I'm not going to tie it with Moon, or not, uh, with Nuketown, like I did with Classified and 5. I, I can't. It's it's not the same map. It's a completely different map. Place completely different. Half, more than half your time spent in the bunkers, too, dude. Uh, I did it. I've, I've done the East. I think I've done it once, maybe. I've definitely played it enough to put it up here. I think I'm going to put it between Shangri-La and Transit, because I play it, but I would rather play any of the maps that love it. Yeah. Last one, Tag Their Tone. I don't, I don't care for Todd. I, I, I'd rather play the time rise than Todd. I'm just saying so much, dude. I'm saying so much that I'd rather play die rise than Todd. There's just nothing about Todd that makes me even want to think about it. Whereas like die rise, I hate it to the point where I think about it. I don't even think about Tog half the time. I, I don't even remember sometimes a Tog's map other than the fact that it ended the storyline. And I know it was based on a budget and time, but I, I I can't forgive it as a I'm going to need a really good Treyarch Call of Duty Zombies experience soon that will re in flame and stuff inside of me for zombies for me to be like okay Todd was bad but and it, and it took a few years we had a good kind of run with Cold War Vanguard we're, I'm not even going to talk about it but we came back with a good game um, all is forgiven with Todd I haven't had that yet, so I, I can't at the moment I can't say anything about it. So for that reason, that is going to be the final map, and it's going to be bottom of my left here. Uh, but yeah, this is my ranking of World at War through BO4 maps. You guys like this kind of stuff and want to see more of me do these type of tier lists and want to see me do these, let me know what tier list you guys want me to see uh, rank next, and I will get that done. Um, as always, if you guys like this, make sure to hit the like button. Comment down below what you guys want to see me react to or do next. And as always, hit that sub button if you are new. Um, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.